Okay, so I know it's kind of later than expected, but I thought it's better late than never, basically. So obviously I'm talking this whole month of May during the lockdown of like having conversations with strangers. I don't know if you've noticed, well, for me in London, I've noticed that people are talking more. Like if I go for a walk, someone says to me, good morning. And in the first few times, people would say good morning to me or say hi, etc. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, why is she talking to me for? Why is she saying good morning to me for? Because I used to sometimes look and think, like, am I wearing my night clothes out on the road? Because, you know, certain times you're not always dressing up in the house. So I've noticed in London that co- there are more conversations with strangers. And then t- what I kind of think of is to come out of this whole lockdown time of something more of a newer version to this new normal or to be more effective. I definitely think we've got to learn how to speak more, but and particularly to strike up conversations with strangers and not come out of this with more strangers. Because in London, you can be in someone's armpit on the central line and it is and you don't talk to them, you don't engage. And I only find this in London, you can go to other places and people will say, like, oh hi, how are you? And hi, Doug. But in London, it's like, mm mm don't talk to me. So I just found that that has really changed a lot. People have been more engaging, more willing to smile. People are smiling. I was like, oh my gosh. When I go to the parks in the mornings, right, uh, people may say like, oh, hi, how are you? And another, I remember an old girl was like, oh, how are you finding it? And I was like, well, you know, just, you know, just here. And he was like, yep, I'll just take each day as it comes. And I was like, you know what, you just take each day as it comes. But I really wanted to give some tips on like how to just really start conversations with strangers because I've noticed, particularly in London, like we don't talk to each other and people are really lonely and people just really need a friend. It's the biggest, busiest, most populated city like in over the whole world, in my opinion. But people don't talk. Everybody's here, but we don't talk. So just to, like one or two tips I was thinking of, like just when you're starting conversations with strangers, like is definitely... I love other person to talk because everyone's favorite topic is themselves. So ask questions, kind of be curious. Like my sister calls me Jessica Fletcher. I know. But um, definitely do it in a way where you can find out more. So, oh, like when I'm walking in the park, it's like, oh, that your dog. There's this lady. She's got like four dogs here and uh, they've all got these little jackets on and stuff and they've got nice like collars and stuff they look really really cute you can tell these are like her babies so I'm like oh your dogs look really cute I love their jacket etc and then that can just start the conversation if you know what I mean it can just start people engaging and talking with you so 100% like give a compliment or a shoe in listen to what the person says and like if they're saying oh yeah this one's Harry that one's Chloe that one's Charlotte that one's Tommy be like wow they've got such nice names and they're really cute really suits them rephrase what the person says they can they can they can see and hear that you are listening to them because sometimes I know previously before lockdown I'd be like I'd ask someone like oh hi how are you and I'm like hurry up and finish I'm not even really interested in asking you hi and how are you if that makes sense so I really noticed in this time of lockdown that people really want to people are not even if they really want to they're open and willing to talk and particularly like in London that's like wow it is huge like every day someone has said hi to me looked at me, nodded, given me just something every single day I've been out. And I noticed that change. And that's a good change because we really need to have that. We can't be having this like we live next to each other like regular humans. We don't talk, just bunks past someone. It's crazy. So definitely I was thinking, sign off conversation with people, compliment them. Uh, Like if if you're in the park, someone's got a great little cute little dog. I like your dog. Or just smile as well. Just the basics. Just smile. That works wonders. And really just want to encourage you to just leave um, leave this kind of whole lockdown thing with, I don't know, with like new, um, like as a new, a new person, someone with new friends and contacts, not to really break down conversations with strangers. That's what I think. So definitely be assertive with what you're saying, have boundaries when you're talking to strangers um and allow awkward pauses because I've spoken to someone and I'm obviously I'm a talker I love to talk but I do think that it's okay when you're having conversation with someone to have pauses and silences and and that's fine you know and and just really make your effort each day to just smile at someone 
say hi to someone, say good morning to someone, because you could have been the only person that spoke to that person for the whole day, the whole week, because some people are in lockdown in very small type apartments and they ain't got nobody to talk to. So you saying hi to them at the shop or smiling at them, that could be the only human interaction that they had that day. So I would really encourage you, if you can, if you feel confident, if you go out, just say hi to someone or smile at someone. Uh, particularly like if you go for walks or do exercise in the parks and there's always dog walkers, compliment them. I find that dog walkers, they're so sociable. Like they're just like, they're like my new best friend, but I don't have a dog, but you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I really think that this is the time where we're still in lockdown here in London. Definitely take the time to make conversations with strangers. Very a great opportunity to learn more about yourself, about other people, and just break down this barrier, particularly in London. It's like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. But now it's just so great and amazing that like people are saying, hi, like, is it any different for you? Do you find that people are coming a bit closer? Yes, we've got a physically distance, but now is the time, this time of calm and stillness of like, we need a social closeness which is what we've been missing for a long time and I, I've really felt the difference so yeah I just wanted to say that just like um really take an opportunity to smile at people take an opportunity to say hi to people it's so simple but these are like the basic things that can start up conversation with strangers and I know it's a bit fearful you're like oh oh my gosh what's she gonna say but God, are those days we're in some type of new normal now I don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what's gonna happen but I know that great things are gonna happen once we come through this and so smile at someone, say hi to someone, just give them the smile that they ain't got. Because some people haven't smiled in days, weeks, months, feel like they ain't got nothing to smile about. And that's a great way to start conversation with strangers. So 110%. Try it tomorrow, wherever you are in the world, try tomorrow just to like say, smile at someone first. Just just try it. Let me know how it goes. Message me and say, Leon, I tried smiling at the old girl and she was horrible. But just, just try it. Something will really change. It will really, really be great, you know. Um, and I just think it will be brilliant if you try it. Um, you're going to feel great about it. And as well, um, I also wanted to talk about, of course, this month, I'm always giving out tips and hints and stuff. And I've got some um, great free resources um, on the link in, in my bio on the Instagram page. Um, just of where you can get a free sample of this whole course I've put together how to start conversation with strangers because yeah you may be a great speaker but you can always learn something or you may not be that confident in speaking to strangers but you can always learn something so please feel free to click the link and uh, grab yourself um uh, the free sample of I think it's the first free videos I've put up there and a template do you know what I mean I sort you out but um I'd really love to hear your thoughts how's it going with you starting conversation with strangers and uh, let me know how it's going for you wherever you are in the world how the course, the sample that I've given out is helping you. And it has been so great being um, on the live with you today. And please feel free to contact me. You can get me on Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. You can email me at leannatleannsvoice.com. You can get me on Facebook. So if you do have any questions you need about how to speak more effectively, um, in particularly in business and in this online environment, please feel free to get hold of me.